I'm John Barrett. I'm a law professor at St. John's University in New York City. I am the Elizabeth Linnae Fellow at the Robert H. Jackson Center, and I've been involved with it since its inception almost 20 years ago. And so what we have in Robert Jackson is a kind of permanent relevance. As a man who was widely admired in his time and is widely admired in ours, is studied, is quoted, and emulated. I think you see it in all kinds of places, but let me point you to one from last July. On one of the days at the end of the Supreme Court's prolonged term, when it was handing down opinions, it announced decisions in three cases. And they were a range of topics, and they were a range of outcomes, um, not all liberal, not all conservative, um, not all expected. And each of the three decisions really turned on the words, quoted the language, and interpreted the precedence of Robert Jackson. That's Jackson burning brightly in the Supreme Court today. He's also across our press, our debates, our blogs, our teaching, our learning, our arguing. A lot of people ask, what would Jackson do? Because he is that kind of pole star in our American history. And this, by the way, is all before he goes to Nuremberg and becomes a pole star in global history. Um, he is one of humanity's very best products. And what the Robert H. Jackson Center does is gives people a chance to become, through study of Jackson, through understanding his principles and plugging them into our own time and our own challenges, a chance to become more Jacksonian. And that's a very important project and it's very worthy of your generous support. Thank you. Mm -hmm.